hi guys welcome to people's digest welcome to another hair video in today's video i'm gonna show you how i do four jumbo straight back ken rows on my natural hair so as you can see i've started off patting my hair in two so i've put one side away and i'm gonna start doing two ken rows on this side right here so I'm going to start off doing my first conro. I have added no gel, no moisturizer to my camera just yet. I'm just pre-preparing the hair. So I'll do my patting, I'll do all four canrows before adding my braiding hair. And I'm doing this style on dirty hair because once I'm going to use gel, I always use dirty hair because obviously I want to wash my hair afterwards. I like doing my canrows like that before um, adding my braids. I just think it makes the process so much easier by doing all your, you know, parting and canrows. So when you start doing the real deal, it's all done and it just makes life and the process so much easier and manageable. So I went ahead and done all four cornrows and um, yeah this is the hair I'm going to use. I'll be using the black at the front and I'll be using the red at the back and this is the expression 1B and J99. So let's begin. So I'm starting by just adding um, gel, the red one gel alongside the parameter of my hair just all around it. So I've cut out a little bit at the front just to start off the cornrow and um, I'm just going to go straight back. I've started adding a small piece to the front of my hair and I'm just going to cornrow till I get to the end of the braid. So I'm not going to be using too much hair, um, adding too much hair on my head because I don't want the style to be heavy. But at the same time, I want it to look jumbo. I want it to look natural and um, just flawless, really. So I'll just continue with this braid, adding hair where I think it should be added. So I'm just gonna use this red colored braid just before I reach the base of my hair. Cause I want to have this sort of um, colored end sort of like a light red hair at the end of my hair I start adding just before I get to the base of the camera and as you can see you can see the colors coming through the nice highlights I did that you know intentionally because I wanted the ends of my braids to you know have a different color and here it is I just keep adding red hair only now just the red hair and I'm gonna canra all along the end of this braid. This braid is gonna be long, so um, here it is coming up really nicely. So that's the first one all done. And here am I starting on the second braid. So I'm just unraveling the pre braid, detangling my hair, add a bit of gel all around the sides, the back, just to get that sleek and neat look. So now I'll just take the brush and just slick that in, get all that gel nicely in. And again, I'll just comb out a little bit of the front of my hair to start off my Kenro. So I'll just keep on Kenro in. When you're doing your Kenros, make sure it's not too tight. Be very diligent and careful with the front of your hair. As you can see, I never hold right at the front when I'm doing my camera because I want to protect my edges and obviously prevent any breakage. When you're doing these styles, you always have to think of health, health and to maintain your strands, okay? So yes, yeah, so I'm just at the back, continuing with this camera. You can see it's coming up really nice and neat. You can see the jumbo looking effect. I'm being very careful with my hair. It feels really therapeutic. Again, I'm about to add the red colored hair at the end, just before I get to the base of the braid. 
so now I'll just be adding the colored hair only that light red hair only so I want the effect of you know just starting off with black and just at the end just sort of you know different highlight a different color and um, I think it's quite pretty I just thought of that style and I thought yeah I'm gonna try it and so far it's coming out pretty well pretty nice pretty neat not tight quite comfortable so I'll just carry on the hair the braiding hair I'm using for the style got quite a nice feel to it is the expression hair and as I said I've used just the 1B black and J99 and the hair is really soft it's really it's not harsh and these are the sort of hair I like using on my natural hair I'm very selective with the hair right here because I don't want my hair to break I've added a bit of gel now I'm just brushing that in and I'm starting Kenro number three so we are getting there we are getting there and I'm really enjoying the process I'm really happy I am taking the time to do this style on my hair it's cold now so um, I'm just trying to get my hair into a protective style and it's easy it's quick and I'm glad I'm the one doing it because I take extra care on my hair even if I was doing it on someone else's hair I would be just as cautious just because of the love I've got for natural hair so as you can see guys my hair looks good it's thriving and that's because of the hot oil treatments the deep conditioner and here now I'm doing a protective style so guys um, yeah you have to take care of your hair you have to be able to you know do the pre poos the deep conditioning the hair wash days and um, you know put in a protective style and that's what I'm doing and I can't wait for my next hair wash day and to really give my hair some TLC because I just enjoy looking after my natural hair it's a pleasure to do and I can't just and I'm just you know looking forward to more growth and just you know giving it all the care it deserves to get to the length I am dreaming about <laughs> so in order to get there you have to action and that's exactly what I'm doing so yes guys I am on my final braid and I am excited so we're just adding a bit more of the black 1b expression and I'm just gonna continue till I get to the end of the braid as I was doing like before and the hair feels so nice and I'm quite proud of myself so far I quite like what I've done achieved so far I've done all four and it wasn't a problem it was actually effortless to do these braids and these braids are butt length it's all the way to my butt and hopefully that's where my natural hair will grow to someday <laughs> wishful thinking well we can do it so here am i stretching out the ends of my braids i'm done and here it is all done all finished my juicy jumbo straight back conros and i love it and look at the ends it's all highlighted in red i just like the little peak of the you know um red braids that coming through at the end look at it guys i think they came out pretty neat so i'm gonna keep this protective style in for at least two weeks it's very cold here in the uk and this style is just gonna do it for me for the winter tuck all my ends away and you know just leave it take care of them you know make sure I've oiled them and I'm also gonna make sure I enjoy them but yes guys um, I hope you're gonna try this protective style um, wherever you are you know be inspired and try this style on because it's so easy it's so simple and yet still it's a style that's gonna grow your hair out you know and um, you know make you feel beautiful as well and you can wear it anywhere but guys this brings me to the end of the video I hope you enjoyed it please try this style 
thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye guys